to you two fundamental questions. What is a mutual fund trust and why should you use one? And I'm going to both whether you're a real estate developer or you're an investor, this is important for you. The answer, I mean, the answer first is to increase profits. Who wants to make money? That's why we're all here. Right? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to tell you a little bit how it's done now. And it's not bad, but it's only half of the story. You should, and if uh, Doug, I don't think Doug's here, if Doug from Castles, we work really closely with, with, with Castles. Um, if you buy real estate now, you should put it in a limited partnership. No ifs, ands, or buts. Every project in its own LP. So multi-developers know the GPLP arrangement. And that's a great starting point, but that shouldn't be the, the end point. With limited partnership, you can only access cash. So that's the status quo. But I had a client come to me about two weeks ago and said, you know what, we've been in this business for years and years and years. Every time we, we do another project, it's another limited partnership, it's city center of condos, it's, you know, all, all of them have their unique names. And our investors don't know who we are. And so we go and have another project and you gotta say, yeah, this is our project. There's no branding having an individual LP for each each one. The biggest thing is you can't access register funds. And a lot of you guys are going to say, what the heck is register funds? Well, I'm going to tell you. So the, the big one out there is an RSP, and I'll get into that in the middle a little bit, and a TFSA. So, but there's a whole bunch of them. And there's all these four-letter words, and no, it's not those other four-letter words. <laughs> but there's RSBs, RESBs, uh, RIFs, LIRAs, on and on. This is a site from the, this is a net track from the Canada Stat Center, okay? And typical our government, it's four years old, and that's the most current I can get. But it showed that in 2020, there were $50.1 billion put into RSPs. That year alone. So you start multiplying that by all the years, and you're, you're looking at like hundreds of billions or maybe even a trillion dollars, and you can't access that without something like an NFT. So that's a whole bunch of money that you can't get at. So our goal is to help you get at it. So now I'm going to start with what is an NFT. So it's very similar to what the GPLP structure is. You, instead of having a general partner, you have a trustee. Instead of having a limited partnership, you have your mutual fund trust. The difference is the LP structure, you can only use cash. With the NFT, you can access that big pile of gold, you can access registered funds. So, how are we different? You can go to your lawyer and he'll set you up an NFT. No doubt about it. But the problem is, most NFTs out there, in fact, I'm gonna say 99.9% .9 of the NFTs out there, they're going to be set up in one of two ways. They're either going to have a single project in them, so you have to go find all the various projects. If you're a developer, it means every time you do another project, another NFT. That's a lot of cost. Or you get one and it's got a whole bunch of projects in it. And that's basically how, like, you say, I'm going to go buy mutual funds on the stock market. That's how that works. You have no control of what goes in there. All the profits are pooled, and all the losses are pooled and you get what comes, comes out. You don't know what you're investing into. Ours are different. It's like buying an NFT every time you do another product. So, like for Ken and his hot dog company, that can go in there. It doesn't have to be just real estate. But we set it up just thinking of you as developers in mind. So you buy it once, every time you do another project, it's, as we call it, another silo, another class of units. It's separate. And there's no time limit on how long you can use it. There's no limit on how many projects you can do it. So you buy it once, it's yours forever. Now, I'm going to just stop here a minute, and I'm going to tell you a little 